Let's see what the car does while we're on top of the parking structure navigating somewhere else and it wants to drive right into the wall. It didn't even <laughs> try to freaking stop. Wow. Okay, back down it is. Make some dash cam adjustments there. Going down. Here's the nice part of being at the top of the parking structure. It's all the regen going down. Pretty empty structure today. I can't believe nobody was at the free Volta chargers. Usually those things are packed solid. I have never once seen it empty. I don't know if it's just because it's really effing hot right now. Car says 111. Apple says 95. Feels like 111. Get out of the car for 10 seconds to plug it in and, or unplug it, and you're already dripping wet with sweat. There's my parking tag. All right, let's see some eye candy here. All the cars. Impressive. Bush Street. This is probably my one of my favorite areas in Chicago. Well, considering I don't like Chicago at all, uh, I know I'm going to get some hate for that. I don't like Milwaukee either. I live there. At least this is an area where, you know, once you can get off the street, you can get, uh, you know, you're away from all the traffic and you can, it just gives you a, a moment to cool down and relax a bit. Would be nice if the supercharger was down one level, so it was at least covered. Come on, you can do it. Ah, looking at their phones, of course. Exit. One more to go. Two-way traffic. Keep right. Oh no, no, this is this. There is no more to go. All right. So staring at their phones yet? Very confused. Yep. Yeah, Voltas are still empty. Please insert your ticket. Oh, wait, wait. That's the airport. Please insert your ticket. Insert ticket. I can reach it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Please drive safely now. For sure. Okay, here we go. We're back out onto the main road. Um, okay, screens are dark. Because they're still from the... There we go. Okay, let's find our spot here. He'll hold on. Full self-drive engaged. Is that one recording? Yes, it is. Okay. All right, we got a Mustang facing us. British International of Chicago. It almost makes me feel like joining a queue for gasoline. <laughs> Not really. Brake for that car turning in front of us. And 
now it just went on the other side of the road for no apparent reason. Because there's two lanes here, even though everybody else is driving all over that epic place. And now it funnels into one lane. How far do we have to go here? We go... 1.1, 1 .1, or no, 1 mile to West Lake Street. And then we hop the freeway for a little bit. I might as well, even though it doesn't do full self-drive on the freeway, in no way in heck, I have done it, I will not, and I refuse, absolutely will not use nav on autopilot on the Chicago interchanges here. Greyhound bus station. That was a rough braking. It was a little, little, little hard of a break. And then uh, it's kind of neat. They, see that little Chinese restaurant right there? What is, I can't read it from this. It was a flaming walk, it says. You can't read that either. It's too far away from me. Yeah, too far for you. Um, I think it says, I think it's flaming walk. It's just like a completely middle of nowhere random Chinese restaurant just there, which is still awesome. Oh, let's see, where, where would you even park? Close the Greyhound station. That makes sense. I guess there looks like there might be a little bit of parking right in front. Come on, light screen people, get off your phones. Very good. Oops. Nope. Went right over to the side into the bike bike lane. freaking way it's going. Which lane? This is downright dangerous. Fueling a bugcat. Jerk. Jamaican barbecue. I don't know if you guys can even see that on the camera. You guys can see the building, but not the sign. Yep, Jerk Jamaican Barbecue on North Halstead and West Chicago Avenue. Never went there. Probably will never go there. But if you've been there, because a lot of you watching are actually from Chicago land, please comment in this section. Script that. Uh, comments section below. Slow down, dude. Anyways, like I was saying, that supercharger is a nice location because there's also the, what's it called? It's just called the North Columbus Drive Supercharger, 10 stalls. It's also an urban at 72 kilowatt hour. I have been there a bunch of times and it's still a pain in the butt to try and find it. It's that bad. And um, you still gotta pay for parking too. Although you get the first like 45 minutes for five bucks, which for Chicago that's cheap. Meow Chicago Feline Retreat. Wow. Some very disturbing cat pictures on the side of that van. That cat is in a bathtub and it is staring pure evil at whoever's taking the picture. I mean, I look at the kitty cats on the, pic on the van. See the kitty cats? That thing is staring pure evil. Okay. Now, if you guys are looking here, see that? It shows two vehicles. 
there is actually only one right there, a postal vehicle. Yeah, that was the mailman you saw um, walking to it. Iguana Bistro and Cafe. Okay, green light, people. Go on, go on. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, look at all the little doggies. Oh, it's a pug. The ugly little pug is so cute. Okay, follow the Lexus. Model S, dealer car. Must be a loner. Okay, it handled that, uh... It handled that bridge pretty well. I was a little concerned because it's so dark under the bridge, but it managed it. Metro going by out there. All right, where are we now? Still in North Halston. Rentpony.com. Rent-a-ghost. Oh, I'll rent a ghost. It's amazing how so many people just keep walking everywhere, staring at their phones. What's the name of the restaurant we're heading to? Chowdian. Chowdian. Hot pot. Oh, oh, hot pot. Oh, goody. Sleeping? No? Watch your phone. How's, what's Vinny doing? Okay. He's mad. He's mad? I think he's hungry. Vincent, are you hungry, buddy? We're going to get some hot pot. Maybe they'll have some beef and broccoli for you. Based on nav. Yeah, I guess we do. We are making a left turn here. I do believe there is a freeway entrance very close. Yeah, everything about full self driving in Chicago, downtown Chicago is making me nervous. This is one really good case for the radar. Um, for those, again, that don't know, um, I've stated on previous videos, um, the radar-enabled vehicles could actually bounce the radar under the vehicle behind you, in front of you. So, for example, there's a Nissan Versa in front of us. The car would bounce the radar underneath that vehicle to detect the vehicle ahead of it. And it could use that for predictive braking. Um, say the vehicle in front of there, in front of that Versa were to slam on the brakes, uh, the car, the Tesla, would know that it's braking even before that Versa would know that it was started braking. It gives it that fraction of a second more to potentially avoid a accident or a rear ending or so on and so on. BMW, that license plate, Mr. Butch. <laughs> okay, beefcake. In this light. We're going to get to drive right underneath the Metro, though. Ooh, the Stella Rosa truck. Would you like some wine? Oh, the cement, this Ozenga cement truck next to us is compressed natural gas powered. Not a fan. Don't tell me they want to make a left turn here. Are you freaking nuts? 
Wrong lane, dude. some turn somewhere. I ain't gonna be here. Waiting in line with like the rest of us. Alright, people crossing the street. Let's see that. Come on. Star X are on ramp. Alright. Manual U turn. Alright, full self drive missed our ramp. Went right past it. Alright, scratch another one. Definitely at least full self-drive beta is suited for these suburbs right now. Here we go. And son of a beehive. And you gotta love it, the panhandlers stand on the freeway. That's how slow freeway traffic is in Chicago. The panhandlers stand on the freeway. Looking for the handouts. They also sleep on the freeway, too. Alright, surprisingly, full self-drive is still active. I expect it to shut off any second now, though. Uh, you can see by the red lines and the, and the yellow lines, uh, once it switches to regular autopilot, those will disappear. There we go, see? Okay. Radar, radar based would be so nice right now. Okay, we need to take east. I vaguely remember this being under construction since the early 2000s. Okay, you had an opening to move over, but you missed it. Tough. Alright, I'm on manual control right now. No autopilot. So, 1.1 mile... What is this? 52C. Alright, we're running normal autopilot. There's a little jerky there. I'm noticing the non-radar based autopilot really breaks for shadows and just about everything. Oh, an electric Mustang. Did you guys see it? Parked under the bridge, one of the construction workers. Nope, we're almost at our stop. So I have to somehow get all the way into the right lane. That's at 18th Street. I think that's it right there. Does that look right? West 18th Street. All right, let's yeah. see if I can move over again. Tons of room, but okay, now it's moving. Autopilot does not react quick enough in this situation. And I'm going to get heat for this, but I do feel like Autopilot 1 does a better job on the Chicago freeway system than Autopilot 2 or 2.x with a full self-drive computer. After how jerky 
Autopilot 2 and full self-drive is. When I hop into my Autopilot 1 Model S, it's actually more relieving and enjoyable. It doesn't have as many false starts and stops. And I mean, we're going back to 2016 here with Autopilot 2. So a lot of this should be worked out. Too bad Mobileye didn't do a didn't want to work with Tesla anymore. I think they could have been a lot further ahead. But who knows? We'll see who's 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 there in the end. see how it does. And it's driving on the wrong side of the road. right onto oncoming traffic. side of the road and it's also not slowing down for a speed bump so I should well, there's another one let's see what it does in the next one but I am I, I'll tell you I'm not sacrificing my suspension nope not slowing down for well marked speed bumps I'll keep manual control through here Welcome to Chinatown. Although most of Chinatown, I believe, is on the other side of the freeway. Here. Oh, what's it here? Okay. Uh, hmm. I don't think I can park here. It is a factory. So yeah, so I'm going to have to turn around. All right, so that is it for right now. And uh, I think I've had my film of full self-drive in Chicago. Um, as you guys could see, <laughs> it did not do very well. And I will not be using it in Chicago. I'll try it again the next release. But as for right now, nope, not happening. So, adios.